I don't know what Stella's looking at out the windows, but she is like transfixed. Unless she's looking at her own reflection. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Nine fifteen AM. That was Simba. He just came charging up the stairs and jump the gates. I did not even have a chance to say good morning to anybody. Good morning, Stella. You gonna jump the gate also? Good morning, Splash. Come on, Stella. Jump the gate. Good girl. I just gave Stella some wheatgrass in the kitchen, but she doesn't really seem interested in it, so I'm going to put the wheatgrass on the play rug in the living room where they like it. 9.27 a.m. Stella's in the pizza box. Splash is on the wheatgrass bed. And there's the fresh wheatgrass. Splash is hanging out in the hallway by Boo's door. Hey, Splash. How are you? You a good boy? Splash likes to talk to me. This was dinner from last night. They ate most of it, but they left the primal raw turkey nuggets. Well, some of the primal raw turkey nuggets. Stella's in the mood for pets. Stella's a very happy girl right now. Hello, Stella. Right now it is about 2 p.m. and it's sunny and it's around 44, 45 degrees, I think. The snow is melting, which is good. And Hydrox is here laying in the sun by the house. I'm just about to give him a can of food. He is getting one of these small cans of the Purina Beyond grain-free wild salmon recipe. It's 2.54 p.m. Simba was on the cat tower. Stella and Splash are in their comfy round beds. And I know that Simba really wants crunchies. Right, Simba? You really want crunchies. Because every time I walk down these steps, he comes running over to me. Like, running. Like, super fast. So, right now he's saying, you're not going back up these stairs without giving me crunchies. Right, Simba? You want crunchies? Simba, you want crunchies? Because they did not eat their breakfast. They ate like half of it. That's it. Which is weird for them. But I think it has to do with the freezer burn. It is 4.42 p.m. and I am making some chicken broth for the cats. I have some chicken tenders that have been in my freezer for like six months since last summer. I hardly ever eat meat so um, I figured let me use them because they've been in there a long time. So I have been cooking those. I put the chicken tenders in a pot with some water, brought it up to a boil. I skimmed off all of the scum that collects on top. I did that several times, uh, skimming off the scum. And right now I've put in a few stalks of celery and some carrots and a few sprigs of dried rosemary and it smells so good. So I am going to let this continue to cook and then the cats uh, are going to have some chicken broth uh, that they can enjoy with their meals and I will most likely enjoy some of this also as a soup. And I'm not putting any onions in this, I'm not putting any garlic in this, I'm not putting anything that is not, I'm not putting anything that is not safe for cats to consume. I'm just basically keeping this really, really simple. It's just some chicken, some water, some carrots, some celery, and a little bit of dried rosemary. It is mail time. We have a whole bunch of packages to open today. I'm here with Boo, who's sitting in a scratch and roll. Boo, you ready to open some presents? 
Okay, so this is the first package. I need scissors. It says, every bunny loves Easter. Thank you, LF, for what you do for these cats and to share it with us. I hope that Boo will finally join the bunch and move from his room to the whole house so Hydrox could come inside to complete this furry family. This gift is for your office and I hope you will enjoy it. And this is to Lady LF, Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. Your somebody, very special, happy Easter, happy spring from Nicole and Sarah. This is an Easter photo of Sarah. Look at Sarah, she looks a lot like Boo. This says, Sarah is expecting to receive eggs under the hat. She will have 16 years old on June 10th and a sweet 16 happy birthday with hugs and kisses and a lot of crunchies. Well, thank you, Nicole and Sarah. We have this paper love keyboard notepad. I love this because I'm always looking for like post-it notes and things to uh, jot notes on and this is super handy and I love that it has like a whole week laid out. Um, that's really good. That'll keep me really organized. So thank you very much. And then we have some gold binder clips, which is awesome. And we have some assorted binder clips. These are a little bit larger. We have some gold paper clips and um, large binder clips. That is great. Thank you so much, Nicole and Sarah. I will definitely bring these uh, to my office and put them to use. This says, hi Lucky, I have one of these. I love the glow from Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. Thank you very much, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. It is a crystal salt lamp. It says pure, natural, tasteless, without any harmful radiation. Release the ion, purify air, radiation shielding. This is so cool because I have been wanting one of these, but I've never purchased one. Um, it says, the origin of the crystal salt lamp. The main component of crystal salt lamp is crystal salt. Scientific name of crystal salt is rock salt, which is a kind of sodium salt. Hundreds of millions of years ago, the Himalayas region was originally a vast ocean. After the Himalayan orogeny of the South Asian subcontinent marshes, the crystallization of the sea salt was produced after solar sun during seawater. Quality squeeze and underground high temperature effect for hundreds of millions of years. The underground minerals and sea salt were combined to form a salt fossil, crystal salt, commonly known as crystal salt. In order to save its natural geometric structure and energy, to prohibit the use of blasting, are used to manually mining salt as the natural or pure hand to create, resulting in that each lamp in the shape, color, weight, and size are not the same. Crystal salt lamp is divided into two parts. One part is the salt mine is connected with the base. The other part is the power. The combination of these two parts is a complete crystal salt lamp. Crystal salt lamp is of pure natural beauty, tasteless without any harmful radiation. Section is unique. So, obviously, whoever wrote this, um, English was not their first language um, because it is a little bit rough grammatically, but uh, I think we all get the idea. And this is what this crystal salt lamp looks like. It's heavy. It's really heavy. I just need to unwrap it, and then this um, is where it gets plugged in. So that's really interesting. I am going to unwrap that and plug it in, and let's let's see how it glows. And this is what it looks like when it's plugged in. That is so cool. It gives off like this warm, orangey glow. It's almost like a salt egg. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. This is something that I've wanted, but I have never purchased for myself, and I'm really happy to have this. Thank you so much. Okay, next box. And uh, yes, I realize I'm not using my box cutter. I apologize. Um, I seem to have misplaced it.
This says, hi, Lucky. This is for Boo. More next month. Hugs to you and the sweet, silly kitties from George Senda. Thank you, George. And this is, hi, Lucky. Queen Stella does not ride share. Could not find a school bus anywhere. Hope this suffices. Hugs to you and all the kitties from George Senda. That's interesting. What is this? Oh, my gosh. It's a kitty cab. That is so funny. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's a New York City kitty cab. I got to figure out how to put this together. Does it come with instructions? The license plate. It has instructions. All right, let's put it together. Oh, look, and we have a cat pizza. We have another cat pizza. This one's for Boo. Check it out. Look how cute. Well, you know, it's a good thing they have another pizza because honestly, other than the mushroom, I have no idea where any of the other toppings are. Like, I know where the pizza is, I know where the box is. I don't know where uh, the onion is, the tomato. Well, I know the cheese, that's in Hydroxy Shelter, I'm assuming. But I don't know where those other three are. So, thank you for sending another cat pizza, George. That is really cool. I might save this for, like, their birthday dinner. I don't know. Okay, next box. It says, hi, Lucky, sending cheer to Hydrox, Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba. There are two beds, one medium and one large, so your kitties have options. With care, Bryn. It says, Lucky Ferals, I'm teaching my social psychology class about compassion, and your care for these sweet cats is a great inspiration. I would love it if you could give a shout-out to Bryn's social psychology class. Okay, I'm shouting out Bryn's social psychology class. Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this video. And thank you, Bryn, for sending uh, these awesome beds. Let's open them. Oh my gosh, what? Do you see what it is? It's a shark bed. I think it's a shark bed, look. It has fins, it has teeth. That looks like a shark bed. That is so cute. It is so incredibly soft. They should definitely I uh, like using this. Thank you so much, Bryn. That is adorable. Okay, let's open this one. Look how cute that is. So there's the large one and there's the medium one. That is so cute. I could put one upstairs and one downstairs. Thank you so much, Bryn. These are awesome. Okay, and we have one more package. Boo would rather look out the window than look at the packages. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this box. This package is from Wagmore, and he sent a note that included some photos of the feral cats in his friend's yard. Look at this feral cat. This is the mama cat. Look, 
it looks so much like Splash. Like the same exact nose as Splash. That is wild. I wonder if they're related. It's not all that far away, so um, gosh, I wonder. And here's another photo. I guess these are the kittens with Mama Cat and the kitten. Look, the kitten even has a nose like Splash. These are such cute cats. I hope they're okay. Wagmore, maybe you could give us an update on what happened to them. Are they still in your friend's yard? Are they doing well? Were they rescued? Did someone pick them up? Okay, we have a bag of the Nature's Variety Instinct Ultimate Protein Cage-Free Chicken Recipe Dry Cat Food. This is awesome because I am literally down to my last bag of dry cat food. So this is perfect timing and uh, now I know Hydrox will uh, continue to have dry food in his feeder for a few more weeks. Thank you. Okay, and what do we have here? We have a Trixie Brain Mover. This is a cat game. That's cool. It looks like an interactive cat puzzle game. I've never seen this before. It says, cats are curious and playful by nature. They need animation in order to keep physically fit as well as to maintain mental health. Playing with the brain mover means physical exercise and mental activity for cats. It trains the cat's skills and offers a lot of playing fun. Brain mover is made of a bottom board with four different elements. Each element is a new exercise for your cat. By placing some tasty treats or cat toy inside the brain mover, the cat's interest will be stirred. Due to different playing possibilities and levels of difficulty, this toy is suitable even for older cats and those with limited range of movement due to illness. The brain mover should be cleaned regularly. It's dishwasher safe. The booklet included in this game gives tips and tricks on how to design appropriate and fun training for your cat. That looks really cool. I'm sure the cats are going to enjoy playing with this to get their crunchies. Thank you so much for sending this, Wagmore. And then we have this. It says it is the world's first indoor hunting feeder. Bowl replacement for one cat. It says I am not a dog. Don't feed me like one. That's real interesting. I've never seen this either. Oh my gosh, look. What are these little mice? Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a little mouse. They're going to go crazy over this. It says, every cat hunts. The introduction, put food and your cat's favorite treat in the trainer at bedtime. Remove the food bowl overnight so your cat can use the trainer in private. The mouse, once your cat has the hang of the trainer, use the portion filler to put one scoop in each of the five mice. Remove the food bowl and put all five mice in its place. Oh my gosh, the hunt. Use the portion filler to fill and hide all five mice per cat once a day. Hide the mice around the house. S start simply at first. You can increase the difficulty of the hiding spot as your cat becomes an expert hunter. Wow, this, this is so interesting and it's so cool. And if this works for the cats, like it'll be awesome because before I go to sleep at night, a lot of times I'll give them like a scoop of crunchies or two scoops of crunchies. And now, I mean, there's five mice here. I could fill up each mouse with crunchies and then leave them each with the mouse while I go to bed. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so interesting to see what the cats do with this. I've never seen this before. I've never heard of this before. I don't know how you find this stuff, but thank you so much, Wagmore. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Then we have a DVD. This is a street cat named Bob. It says sometimes it takes nine lives to save one. I've never seen this movie, so this is awesome. I look forward to watching this DVD. We have a bag of Pet Naturals calming treats. It says for cats of all sizes, works naturally, not a sedative, helps manage everyday stress and behavioral issues. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder how Stella would like one of these. It says it has L-theanine, vitamin B1, and colostrum. Uh, it's veterinarian formulated. Um, it has 
thiamine, vitamin B1, 65 milligrams. Colostrum calming complex biopeptide blend, 9 milligrams. And L-theanine, 8.5 milligrams. And the inactive ingredients are brew brewer's yeast, calcium sulfate, canola oil, chicken liver flavor, citric acid, glycerin, maltodextrin, mixed tocopherols, propionic acid, rosemary extract, silicon dioxide, sodium, alginate, soy less than in vegetable oil. That'll be real interesting um, to see what happens when I give this to Stella to see if it helps calm her. This is well wrapped. We have Flora Udo's Choice Pet Essentials for Cats. All vegetarian nutritional support for cats, EPAs, fiber, enzymes, and phytonutrients. That's cool. I recognize the uh, Flora brand. I've purchased some Flora stuff in the past. It says suggested use. Add the following amount of pet essentials each day to your pet's regular food. Give animal free access to water. Um, it says for cats over five pounds, give them one teaspoon a day. And uh, the ingredients are defatted flaxseed, defatted sunflower seed, rice bran, defatted sesame seed, carrot, whole golden flax seeds, tomato, oat bran, ginger, sprouted soybeans, barley grass, beets, digestive enzyme blend, goes through the enzymes, lemongrass, parsley, alfalfa, artichoke, broccoli, burdock, hawthornberry, collards, kelp, milk thistle, red clover, yucca, shitagura extract, dandelion root, dandelion leaf, oat grass, rosemary, sage, thyme, ryegrass, bee pollen, chlorella, and dulse. Wow, that's a lot of healthy ingredients. This is really interesting. It says Udo's Choice Pet Essentials for Cats is rich in certified organic seeds, whole foods, herbs, greens, trace minerals, and phytonutrients in their unaltered natural state to give your pet optimum nutrition for maintaining an active energetic, an active energetic lifestyle. Fiber and enzymes help maintain regularity and support the digestive system. Organic flax seeds support the cardiovascular system, help maintain good muscle tone, and promote a healthy skin and glossy coat. Greens are rich in chlorophyll, minerals, and trace elements. Pet Essentials contains no fillers, binders, or other non-nutrient ingredients. It has no preservatives or additives and is nitrogen-packed to ensure freshness. Refrigerate after opening. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Wagmore. This is really cool, and I think, um, especially for Hydrox, this will be uh, a great supplement because he's not on the raw food. He's mostly eating canned food, and he does not get um, as many vitamins and herbs and stuff as the inside cats get. So uh, thank you so much. And then we have a cat bag. I think this is a paper bag cat tunnel. I think that's what the uh, documentation said. But let's open it and let's take a look at it. And that's what it looks like. It is an extra long, super sturdy paper bag for cats to play in. It also has a cutout um, for more uh, interactive fun for them. And uh, that's cool. I'm going to put this downstairs where the cats are and uh, let's see if they like it and if they enjoy playing with it. It's now 5.45 p.m. The soup has been cooking for an hour. I just tasted it and it tastes so good. So I am going to turn the heat off, put the lid on, and let it sit there and cool down for a while. Boo is getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites for dinner. He's also getting a few teaspoons of the chicken broth and some additional water, just in case he doesn't like the chicken broth. We'll see what happens. Pooh's drinking up all of the liquid that's in his food. So that's a good sign that he likes the chicken broth. I just gave the other cats their salad. And you could see where Simba has decided to stand on the salad while he eats it. Okay, so there is dinner for the downstairs cats, Stella, Splash, and Simba. They're getting the exact same thing Boo's getting, which is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. Uh, they're getting some of the chicken broth also. I think I put like seven teaspoons uh, in the serving for them. And they're also getting some water. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they eat it right away, how they like it. 9.37 p.m. I don't know what Stella's looking at. 
out the windows, but she is like transfixed. Unless she's looking at her own reflection. Simba joins Stella in the other cat tower. Hey Simba, how you doing? You're tired? The kitty cab has been put together. It comes with two little toys, a little mouse toy and a little feather toy. And that's what Stella is looking for. Both of those toys are inside of the cab. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.